Hello, I'm Mike Gore, and welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Pokemon Red and Blue for the Game Boy. And last time, I went to defeat Lieutenant Surge to win the Thunder Badge. And I had fully evolved the other game's version exclusives, the Elephant to Persia and Pokemon Red, and making it to Prime and Pokemon Blue. And now I need to grind up my Dratini and my, uh, version exclusives a little more. Vermilion City, the port of exquisite sunsets. Alright, Blue is basically just gonna pull ahead and never let go. And the reason for this, you sort of saw a bit of a warning of this last time, but... Meowth is so much is so much faster to grind up than Minky, it's ridiculous. Um uh, Minky is just The problem is the most reliable damaging move for Minky is our Karate Chop and Rock Slide. Oh yeah, and Pokemon Blue is going to catch Drowsy. So, technically, Red pulls ahead here. Puts enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. Occasionally gets sick from eating bad dreams. So Red still needs to catch Drowsy, though. But, as you can see, Mi uh, the only way to beat that Poliwag with Minky was a critical hit Rock Slide, and as I said last time, Rock Slide is a slow-ass move. Now I switched to Karate Chop because Minky cannot one-shot this horsey. And you can see that even though you have high critical hit ratio with Karate Chop, it's like with damn with non-stab 50. The reason being is because Karate Chop in the Gen 1 games is treated as a normal type. First Gen 2 onwards, it's a fighting type attack. You also have the fact that Meowth, even though it has a crummy ass special stat, is far more versatile at taking out Pokemon like Sandshrew here than Mankey is. Like, I just one shot a Pokemon that'll take. Minky three shots, and, Mi and Minky almost dies fighting that Sandshrew. It does mean that I'll have to use a potion even sooner or later, but damn. And at least in Pokemon Blue. Like, Minky is so much slower to grind up than Meowth, it's ridiculous. Now, theoretically, I could have just deactivated battle animations. I digress. Regardless, just like that time, Meowth and Minky are basically going to be tasked with battling trainers that I feel confident can win their respective battles. For example, I firmly believe that Meowth could beat that Nidorino, and I have also firmly believed Minky could bat beat ne that youngster's Nidorino, so they battle them both. This was the And oh yeah, not only does Meowth get uh, stab with bite, so a 65 base power bite is like a 100 base power in Gen 1 off of Meowth. You also have the Meowth's naturally high critical hit ratio. So he's not losing that much time off Minky's non-stab base 50 kar karate chop. If actually not any time. Oh no yeah, bite actually can cause flinching which is a lot faster to manipulate than critical hit than max critical hit rock slide I 
I look at this. All I needed to do was cause a flinch with bite. I was able to two shot the Vulpix. And Red's trying to move around the grass because it need because Red still needs to catch Drowsy. So Dread hasn't even caught Drowsy yet, and Blue's pulled way ahead. That is absolutely ridiculous. And the worst part was, I played Red first, so obviously I'm learning from my mistakes with Blue. And I'm pacing myself, so Red is the game with all the mistakes. I probably would have stalled out a bit with Blue if I knew this would happen. And have Blue be the one that reads the signs, reads what main NPCs have to say, the Pokedex entries, etc. level 23 and Minky will be level 23 out soon as well. However, this will be the last bow that Gambler will be the last spell for both Minky and Meowth. Meowth is running low on bites and Minky is lo running low on rock slides. Because of this, I now because I use a potion on Minky, I decided to use a push on Meowth, even though Meowth is done. Now I'm giving this to Professor Oaks. You have AIDS? Nah, he's just saying if you call these three Pokemon, I'll give you an item fighter. I have 41. <laughs> Well, we don't actually need the Iron Fighter in our inventory, it's just for completionist sakes. Because I have a strategy guide that pinpoints where the Escape Rope and the Hyper Potion are. Though, Escape Rope is so obvious it's ridiculous, and I knew about the Hyper Potion since I was a little kid. So. I'm actually gonna have Dr Dratini battle this, uh, these two engineers on this route. Yeah, I read Drowsy's Pokedex entry last time. Alright, go ahead. Dratini grew to level 27! Magneton! And I have to carefully manipulate the second body slam so it not only paralyzes, it allows me to two shot. Uh, Dratini taking damage there doesn't really matter since blue is so far ahead of red. In fact, I probably could just spell that mag that my little normally, but I didn't. Fly to Celadon City. And red is never catching up to blue. And to prove it, I am not gonna even bother using the bike anymore in this episode. But look, Dratini's level 27. We're still gonna need Dratini in our lead for the next spell because... Minky and, uh... Meowth are a little too weak for this... for this... trainer. Since we took all the trainers in Rock Guy at Route 
11, we are gonna about take on the Rocket Hideout now. We're gonna do it the previous couple episodes because Dratini wasn't strong enough. And neither were our and neither were Minky or Meows. So I'm in, so I'm in up first turn, so I'm in up like a tail whip fail followed up by a critical hit by slam. Well, I might be the skirt better to the boss. Hey, is such a poster? Let's push it. Yep, we are taking on the rock eye out now. I'm gonna go pick up the hidden pee pee up. Now red went on the bike, but not blue. Because blue's so far ahead. And I got our second escape rope for the episode, and our second escape rope in our inventory. Rocket wants to fight. Okay, yeah, we are gonna take the tail whip here because I feel figure tail whip will probably help us out with damage strats. Oh, and a tackle miss. Well, by another critical hit. Which means routine is level 28. Now, these are just so because the ra I think the Radicates are a little too strong for Minky and, uh, Meowth at this point. And this one is because this trainer has a Machop. And... Though that isn't so much a bother for me. Oh yeah, and a Drowsy. So it is actually a bother for both, uh, Minky and... Meowth to deal with. Primarily Meowth. Following this trainer. And I'm basically taking my sweet ass time on blue version because I know that blue is ahead. Way ahead of red. I'm nipping the critical hit bite here. And I'm manipulating the bite flinch for Meowth, followed by Bubble Bee. So I do double bite here. Got Payday disabled. Doesn't matter. Oh wait, disabled no more, okay. And I manipulated the tail whip because of a little badge thing called badge boost glitch, which is just enough so Meowth's bite actually two shots without a crit. Now, unlike in Red version, I am not going to be teaching Meowth Screech. I taught Red's Meowth Screech for the benefit of the SSN so I could better deal with Shelter. And I'm just doing things the long, arduous way in Pokemon Blue because I don't feel threatened by Red at all. Unfortunately, Minky has no access to any, uh, flinch locking. Rock Slide does not cause flinches. Cry Chop is low power. That's normal, but with critical hit, high critical hit rates. 
Yeah, Mankey's move pool just sucks in, in red and blue. So I'm going to pick up the hidden nugget here first. So I have something to bump into when I pick up TM11, which is Double Edge. And I'm moving Dratini to the front row because I still need Dratini in the front row. So this Pokemon Trainer, I will be right here. This Rocket, I'm going to be using Mankey and Meowth. So, Dratini. We basically don't have to worry about Machop's kill fainting Meowth anymore. And we also don't really fear Drowsy anymore for Mankey either. But what, you know, what I am fearing is Rain Loud of PP. And thanks to Tail Whip Strat. Or was it flinch? I wasn't paying attention. Now causes. Oh, nope, hypnosis miss. And a decent enough damage roll to two shot the drowsy. That's all I needed. No flinching, no crits, no. Just decent RNG fun. Just follow the arrows here, and blue is just. Our objective of the Rock of Hideout is to find the leaf key so we can use the elevator in the second basement floor. Now, we don't hadn't really explored the second basement floor all that much, but we will. Don't worry about that. I could sense out coffee. Coffee! So I have no choice but to do two shot bites. That critical hit was completely meaningless, but Meowth's level 25. We got a critical hit on Zubat. No! Oh no, I dropped the lift key! And you have to talk to the rocket again after you beat him in Oregon to drop the lift key. This isn't necessary to do in yellow because he will speak immediately after you defeat him. But we got the rare, our uh, fourth rare candy in the game, which is nice. The bird doesn't work. The lift keys and stuff. And I'm going to try and add the second nugget in the rocket hideout. Nice. And okay, Mankey's taking a bit of punishment here, but so far I. However, for what it's worth, Mankey will be able to one-shot a lot of these mods with just rocks, with either Cry Chop or Rock Slides. Real soon, anyway, so. No biggie. Now I have to do this stupid, slow uh, arrow puzzle twice because I need to get out of the way to pick up an easy to miss item at the Rocket Hideout. Now, even though I don't have all the Pokemon I need to level up to fully evolve, at least not yet. I can still get a head start on the next mall I want to do this with. So I'm going up here, and I basically have to use the route I didn't last time, except choose the other left arrow. Not here, obviously, but the next set of arrows. 
So you take the top one this time, and that leads us towards the left. There are five moonstones in the game, and we only need four of them. I'm gonna remember to take the steps. Why did you come here? Because you guys are up to no good. And even though I tech and I also need the self scope in order to catch all the Pokemon there. So I went no critical bite. This one probably needs to be a critical hit. No, I just take a tail whip and the trivia, Meowth does not level up at all here. But Meowth takes quite a beating from the Raticades. But at least it ensures that we can faint the Rattata without getting a freakishly high damage roll. And we're done with Meowth, at least for now. We are gonna swap in, uh, Dratini this time. First, let's pick up this Hyper Potion! This is the last item we can pick up for the time being, as our item bags are full. That's fine. And I've swapped out uh, Meowth here, because these Pokemon are just too bulky for Meowth or Minky to handle. And Meowth is running low on bites. <laughs> Using a pair of Crickle Head Thunderbolts, Simon Nipped. And, and Minky here doesn't have to worry about one shot all the Pokemon because Minky has a move no matter what that can actually out one shot. Whereas Meowth doesn't anymore. If a Pokemon can withstand bite, you're toast. You're gonna take the kind of damage that Meowth just took. Alright, heading up to the B1F because I know that I'm out of items because of red version. Spoiler alert. So we have to battle this rocket in order to open the uh, door that's on the basement, on the first basement floor. Uh, disable fail, nice. Uh, pointless crit, but that's okay. I min up the flinch here, and now I'm just hoping I can three shot this guy. And Meowth just has like red bar now. I'll also have to breeze through the text box a lot faster. Unfortunately, Meow, uh, Mankey could have benefited from Red Bar significantly. I'm using the first of two escape ropes to get out of here because I need to. But because I defeated that rocket, I can just shortcut my way back to the fourth basement level. And this is when I found out that I can't. I ran out of items in our item bag in red. So something that you see here is I deposit the item finder in the PP up. I have to check in the moonstone. I still need the lift key, and I... And everything else I don't need, I can either hold on to or sell, sell or use. I mean, 
Minky just one shot that Grimer with just a karate shot. So here's a karate shop here. I thought about using a potion here, but decided against it. I want to keep the items in our inventory uniform in both games. And since I'm using the Pokemon Center here to rejuvenate all my Pokemon, I don't really need to worry about that anymore. Pick up the iron now that I have space in my inventory to do that. And I'm gonna battle these rockets one at a time. Rocket wants to fight. Rogatini! Use Ice Beam! That will one shot the Sand True, but I have to manip the uh, Body Slams to get land a critical hit here. And then a critical hit Ice Beam will one shot the Sand Slash. Even though Blue probably didn't need to do that, at least I'm ensuring Jatini's survivability here. How? So they're like a cartoonish evil. Alright. Manipping the bison to be a crit in blue. And I'm gonna do the same thing in red. Dratini will be battling the rest of the episode. And Ice Beam, no need for a crit. And I'm gonna manipulate a Frozen Solid Sass on Arbok. To avoid taking damage, and then I'm just gonna spam by Slam. But, didn't need to, cause critical hit. Oh, yeah! And here it is, the boss of Team Rocket himself, the first hidden super potion right here. Now we talk to him. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Giovanni wants to fight! And I should be able to one shot the Onyx in his next Pokemon with Ice Beam. And the reason why Dratini is getting all these fights, Dratini absolutely needs to evolve now. More than Mankey or Meowth, because Mankey and Meowth need to be there in case Dratini starts getting weaker. And I'm not going to teach him Slam, because I have Body Slam. Alright, King is gone. I don't need to worry about RNG minutes. I just need to spam my speed over and over again. Unfortunately, King is gone got a critical hit rage. But I guess that's a good thing because now the damage cap is frozen. Avery rage from now on is gonna be a crit. So the attack boost means nothing. But, doesn't matter, I three-shot the King of Scum with three Ice Beams. What? This cannot be! And Dratini is evolving! And Dratini is evolving into Dragonair! Too bad Dragonair kinda sucks in the next area. I see that you raised Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And there's the self scope. It looks like Red Stratini's about to evolve too. And I sort of fidget around looking for the escape road. It's like, oh yeah. Can I use that? But now, in 
instead of using this Pokemon Center, we're gonna fly to Lavender Town and use the Pokemon Center there. And blue is just about done. And red and we'll fish like over a minute ahead of red. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to stop by the PC and drop off the lift key. And I'm only going to drop off the lift key itself because everything else is either useful to me now, either to use, sell or use later, or, or like, or I'm going to sell it. So I need to sell this one, that's the team for, for the team for rest. Both nuggets, because that's the only reason the item exists in these games, is to be sold. TM10 is dull edge, we don't need it. It's only base 100 and with a high recoil rate. So on the HP up. The iron here, which we don't need. And the TM02, which is Razor Wing. Don't have any more use for that. And finally, we are going to teach TM07 to Dragonair. Since it's now since it's evolved into Dragonair, it can now learn Horn Drill. Horn Drill is one of three OTK attacks in Pokemon Red and Blue. So after I save my game, I'm going to read the Pokedex entry for Dragonair in blue version. While Red tries to wrap everything up. And after, ra and after I'm done with Red, I'll be uh, signing out soon. Mystical Pokemon that exudes a gentle aura. Has the ability to change climate conditions. Then it must be the enemy of all leftists. Anyways, blue's officially done. And red version is about to wrap up, so after I'm done selling everything and teaching Horn Drill to Dragonair, I will be done with red version. So, if you like this video and want to see more, next time we're taking on the Pokemon Tower, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And after I save my game here, Oh yeah, and get on my bike. This is Mike Gorn, sign out.